Welcome to the world of programming. Join me and ChatGPT on a journey to learn. Here's how we'll start. I'll give it a simple prompt to let it know what I want to learn Python for, data analysis, and then ask it to quiz me. And throughout this process and iteration, you'll learn Python a lot more intimately. Let's demonstrate this. I'm a data analyst who wants to learn Python. Give me a set of questions to test my skills using a Seaborn data set. Now Seaborn has built in data sets that you can utilize for visualization and analysis. And therefore, we're gonna use one of these because ChatGPT will also have knowledge of what it's structured like and what sort of questions to ask. Meaning we both are on the same page. And there you go. It's recommended I use the tips data set. What I'm going to do is open this up into my Python environment. For this, I use the online and interactive Google Collab. I'm gonna copy each of these questions in and be back with you shortly. Once you've got all the questions in, and for example's sake, I'm only doing the first 10, but you can ask for more or less or simpler or more complex questions just by further prompting GPT. But once you have these in, you can begin. Now, again, you can ask for hints if you're unsure. And this is why it's so brilliant to use ChatGPT for learning. Let's do an example here. So load the Seaborn library. I know there's a few libraries I'm probably gonna need alongside Seaborn, so I'll import those first. Now each of these libraries are installed and I can add to it later. I'm gonna run this cell with Shift Enter. Now I'm gonna walk you through my process in solving each of these questions and for some of them, I'll go back to ChatGPT to see how it would answer. And at the end, you can give it the entire output and ask it to evaluate your performance. Let's begin. First, we want to load the Seaborn library, which we've done, and import a dataset called tips. Now you may ask, how did I know what imports to use or how do I know the following code? Well, this is all through my own research and learning, but this is more of a way to test your skills and further improve them. So follow along at your own pace. And again, a quick hint here, if you're unsure on what the code is, like I know it's low data set and it's popped up here. But if you do control space is what it is in my computer, hit enter, it will fill it in for you. Now, I know the name of the data set is tips. And then we're gonna display the first few rows with df.head, remembering first of all to set this equal to df. There you go, the first one is done. Moving on to the next. What are the different columns present in the tip data set? Again, this is one I know how to do, it's df.columns. Here. But remember, when we do get stuck, we can always go back to GPT or use any other online resource. But ultimately, the process here is that we'll use ChatGPT to evaluate our performance throughout and at the end. Calculate the average total bill amount. Well, I know that I can do that with pandas. What's the highest and lowest bill amount of this data set? That's the next question. Well, I can do max, and I can also do min. Next, we're moving on to visualization. As you can see, this is testing a variety of things you would need for data analysis. We'll use Seaborn for this. We could even give it a title if we felt we needed to. Fantastic. Moving on to the next. And I feel with this one, it's time to demonstrate if you didn't know how to answer. So the question is, is there a relationship between total bill amount and the tip given? Initially, I would use sns.scatterplot to explore this, but let's ask how ChatGPT would solve this question. Now we've imported, loaded the data set, and you can see here, it's given you an example. Now, it's not always entirely accurate, and you may need to reprompt or play around with it, but let's try it, see if it works. I'm gonna copy this here and paste it and read through it, understand it, set the figure size, that makes sense to me. Scatter plot as we thought. Total bill, data, color blue, brilliant. We're gonna hit enter, and it hasn't worked. And that's because you need to adapt it to your data specifically. Now, the data set is not called tips, we've called it DF. 
Let's try that again. And you'll see it worked perfectly. But let's ask some further questions. What does do? And could you use a correlation matrix for this question? And it'll explain the alpha parameter. Equally, it'll address further questions. I said, could you use a correlation matrix? Here, it demonstrates how. And I think by now you're gaining a greater understanding in how it works. Now, I don't want to go on for too long, but what I will do is recommend you play around a bit with here. Let's make it a regression plot and take a look at the output. Now, why hasn't it worked? Well, it's got alpha here, so we play around and we'll get rid of that. And we've learned something there. But let me control Z or command Z. I'm going to go to file, print. I'm going to select everything, copy and ask ChatGPT. Is this how you would have answered? Evaluate my performance. Now, best of luck and get to learning.